Let's talk about private address space. This is coming from RFC 1918. You can see the different address ranges below. We'll work with the first one. So let's start by saying that this is a binary number. Even though we are using decimals to represent that, it is four octets. Each one of the octets will be eight bits. Eight bits, the lowest number you can get is zero. In eight bits with all ones, the number you're getting is 255. So those are the ones that are valid for an AP on each one of the octets. Let's use the starting AP as an example. This is your starting AP and how it fits on the four octets in binary. If you look at the last IP, you can see how it fits now with our representation in decimal. You see 10, 255, 255, 255. So for each one of the segments, you have up to 256 possibilities. It is binary 2 to the power of the bits you're using 8 will give you 256. If you consider all of the combinations using the four octets, so 32 bits, it will be over 4, 4 billion combinations. The size of the segment you're using is represented by the slash here. How many bits you're reserving for the network. That will split your representation in two. It will be on the left, the network, and on the right of that marker, your host. And remember the combinations you can have. If you're thinking on three bytes, you're getting 24 bits of combinations. 2 to the power of 24 will be 16 million over that combinations for the host. So you're getting the network which will be fixed on the left and the host that will change on the right. Every segment you can't use the first and the last of the segment. The first one will be the network and the last one will be the broadcast for this segment. So two IPs are deducted from the pool. If that is 256, you're getting 254 and so on and so forth. 